right, good morning, my friends. This is actually the second video I did today. I'm going to trash the other one. And this is the second attempt I did at this one. My sister sent me all these bangles here. Aren't they pretty? And uh, she suggested I make wind chimes with them. And I agree, these will make beautiful, beautiful wind chimes. They are too small for to wear as a bracelet unless you're a child or a very tiny person. And they're glass, which, you know, I wouldn't put on a child. So I think that doing um, wind chimes are perfect. Um, unless you put them somewhere where you have hurricane winds. Yeah, that won't be good. Anyways, I pulled out these. Like I said, I started this video. It didn't record anything. I'm like, eh, you stinker. So, <laughs> I got four of each color. And then what I did is I went and got four matching glitters for each, each thing. Okay. Then... I got my epoxy out. This is two-part resin. Uh, it is clear. It is self-leveling. It doesn't. It doesn't yellow. It resists yellowing. That's one thing that the old epoxies had a big problem with was they would yellow. Um, this has got no VOCs, whatever those are, <laughs> and low odor. And I got 40 minutes of work time, which means. Uh, if the video runs longer than 40 minutes, this stuff's going to start thickening up. Um, this is a coaster, and I thought that it would work really well. We got five different colors, and so each one can have a little space there. And I will, I've got plenty of um, old chain. Uh, I may have to mix and match colors and stuff, and then I'll attach these with a jump ring and just overlap them just a little bit so they'll tinkle tinkle <laughs> that sounds uh, okay they'll make a, a pretty little noise in the in a breeze um a lot of my wind chimes are actually inside they're like over heating vents and so when the heat comes on or the air ac it blows them around and you can hear them um We've gotten so we don't hear them so much because we're so used to them. My son came to visit and, oh man, he was sleeping and he says there, he had to take them down because they were so loud to him. I'm like, okay, I don't hear that, but all right. All right, now this right here is what I'm going to mix the, the resin up in. And they're, it's gauged, gauged on the side but it's very hard to read it it's also on the inside so what i do is i think i'm going to do a 40 two uh 40 milliliters of this and 40 milliliters of that because you do even parts of it um but so that i can see it i'm taking a sharpie as you can see i've used sharpies a bunch and they just kind of wear off so I'm going to mark that one, and then 40 from that would be, uh, 40 more would be 80. So it's, uh, be careful you don't overmark. Anyways, bad me. <laughs> so let's start with the part A, and we just fill it up to that line. All right, once it starts getting close, you want to slow it down. All right. I do have, this is just about empty, but I do have a full another set. My husband was so sweet. So... I've been using a lot of UV resin, so, but I'm going to get back into doing the, the two-part resin. I'm making some stuff. All right. 
Okay. Now, where's my, oh, there's timers right there. You need a five minute timer. Let's start. Use one of these expensive sticks that I get with Jimmy Dean's pancake sausage dog things. And I don't know if you can see the, the way it, uh, inside you can see the two parts coming together. But you want to stir that until it's all mixed in. So there's no visible lines inside. Five minutes does it. It also might put some air bubbles in. So you want to do it fairly slow and make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom because you want it all mixed in. You don't want any spots that has more hardener or more of the part A resin in it. So just keep stirring. I'm going to pause because five minutes of watching somebody stir is pretty boring. So, okay, five minutes are up. And I had a thought while I was sitting here, I saw this paper clip sitting there. What if we took the paper clip, brought it up like that. Um, let's use some things here and just uh, give it a bigger base. Like that there. Because we have to have something to hang the uh, this on. And what if we just set that right in the center there? And then we can use this to hook the chain on to the... Uh, yeah. I'm going to bend this down just a little bit so this part here is also in the resin. Flatten that out a little bit. Well, I think that's going to work great, don't you? Look at that. Just set that right center. Perfect. Okay. My resin's got some air bubbles in it, but we're going to be filling it with glitter and stuff, so most is not going to check to see that. Um, put some of that right there, because what I want to do on this is put some metal flakes in there because I have that the um, the paper clip we want the paper clip to disappear as much as possible so let's get some flaky here that's just a little bit of flaky here so this is like see I don't know if you can see how many layers they are right there but we don't want that many layers and we just want enough so that it's it disguises that that paper clip and it's the center so just put it in put it in put it in the only place you're going to see this is if you looked up through the bottom of it or down through the top I need some toothpicks. This is like something up on here. All right. Now, the problem with uh, two-part resin is it does migrate as it as it cures because it is um it gets hot. All right, let me just set that down there. All right, let's put this away. And let's start with some some glitter. Uh, what color do we want to start? We want to start with the gold? Sure, why not? Say sure, why not? I've, this is the bottom of an ice cream, the lid of an ice cream um, container. I'm just going to put some resin there. Let's mix the glitter into because... Whatever we put glitter in, we want to be able to throw it away because glitter really goes crazy. And we want to put a lot of glitter in this. Luckily, we have a lot of glitter because we're going to be adding more resin. But, and let's just, whew, reminds me of my brother-in-law's boots. He's a... Uh, 
he has a band and uh, he wears platform boots that are are gold glittered. So, yeah. yeah let's just put it right there. And we do want it to go down the side here. Ooh. You know what? <laughs> this stick is not the optimal thing to do this with. Let's use a silicone. Because it's... It scrapes a lot easier. Um, where's my pink thing? There's my pink thing. Alright. And let's just... See how much easier that is to scoop with this? Yeah, so we, we're doing a corner for each color. Now that's kind of running over into its neighbor's place, but it hopefully it will get chased back when we do a, another color. So let me mix up. Man, you're being a stink. Let me put some clear down. Maybe that will push it back. Whoops. Wow, oh, Bethany, you're being really good. Get the baby wipe out. Clean that up. Clean, clean, clean. All right, that did slow it down. That's good. Um... Let me squish this all that way. I may need to get a couple of things for this. Like, I've never done this, so <laughs> I am kind of winging it while, while we're talking. Uh, let's put some here. And let's mix some purple glitter. Some purple glitter next. And I need a stick. Need a stick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Get... <clears throat> Luckily, I have more than one of these ice cream container tops. Um, not because we eat a lot of ice cream, but because I don't throw things away. So it's more of a case of that than that I had a lot of ice cream. Look, had a pair of pliers just jump out of my. My bin thing. Stay in there. Mm. Okay. All right, let's go get really quickly. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. Because this runs so well, so well, yeah. they run so well. Let me pull out two of these plastic cups. Let's see if that might be a, a better option than the than this here. I need a new stick. All right, let's use some the color glitter. Let's do the green. Um, glitter, glitter, glitter. Probably should have mixed up all my glitter first, but I was thinking I could just, yeah, I was just thinking. <laughs> I don't think I have enough glitter in there. Hmm. 
no I don't have enough glitter let me add a couple more spoons full because this is not as fine a glitter there's more space between them so let's do another couple spoons full yeah we got plenty all right let's oh yeah that's better that's thicker all right let's just pour yeah and we will pour 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 yeah yeah I should have done this this is if you do this get some little cups yeah all right let's see some of this large fuchsia flakes Was stirred it with this. <gasps> shame on me. Well, not shame on me because I caught myself, but the fact that I even considered it was like, oh. All right, let's see. Do, do I need more? Let's pour some right here. Might need some more flakes than what I have in there. And then I have the glue here. Let's just pour some into there. Okay. And get its own steak. And let's see if we can chase that purple back over to its spot. Okay. Now we need to add some more purple to fill in it because the blue is now coming over to its spot and the gold is impinging I mean they're pretty colors look at them as long as they don't mix too much I think they'll be really pretty let me scrape this off here. And then we need to mix up some more purple. Purple, purple. And now let's do some gold. Because the blue's coming on. I blue. The green is coming over into the, the gold area. Seems like everybody's moving this way. <laughs> Let's scrape this. Scrape, 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 scrape. Yeah, I really should have mixed all these up so that I could have poured them at the same time. You know, one after the other instead of having time lags between them. And it's possible people won't actually see this so much because they'll be looking at the the dangly things and not the things that are you know up on top um that's not the one oh i don't have one for the for the gold do i have a toothpick oh there's the one for the gold oh, i knew i had one all right let's some red in for fuchsia 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 and let's get that green in there because that fuchsia is pushing the green all right let's clean the the uh the glitter sinks because it's heavier and it's going over into the gold shame on it but you know what it's 
but it is. And then you can see that fuchsia coming over into the blue. They all just want to get along and just be part of everything. And the thing about this kind of artwork, you have no idea what it's going to look like until it's dried and cured. Um, go a little bit over the top of that gold. I'm not loving that gold, uh, the silver. All right, let's put the lid on the blue glitter. I got more of the pink here. Fuchsia. Put up over in the. All right, I want to make sure that this is centered because like I said, things move. So that there migrated some. All right. Um, I'm just going to let that cure and I'm going to take what's left here and put it in molds because that's what we do. We don't waste anything. All right, let me clean my hands off here. I'm going to pause. I'm going to move stuff out of the way here, and then we'll do that. Okay, when you have leftover resin, you always have something like this here or this here where you can, uh, can put them in so you're not wasting. All right. Um, this here, I just had these two. And I don't even remember what I was doing there. And so I just put them in the thing. I said, I'll use them eventually. So let me just kind of scrape up some of this and just do the same thing on each side. Try to make them even use up some of this purpley glitter um, and then use some of the gold glitter just beyond that just because that's what we have Looking very even to me, but hey, can add a little more on this side. Ooh. Camera stand here. All right, so um, yeah, I got a little bit more of this. I can add some right up here. Um, scrape it all off more up here okay so that's pretty much done off that uh, let me paper towel always have paper towels no matter what your craft is have paper towels available because crafting is messy Ugh. and glitter sticks to red to these silicone things so bad oh well i will get some baby wipes and clean them eventually all right now this one here um i might just put some clear in because i have some there some here i've got the leftover clear and Consider, I might put something else in there with it. I don't know. But I can always back this with a, a black or a white or something to bring the color out. And I can use those um, paint um, testing things. 
to see what color would look best on that. Okay, on these, I think I'm going to put some some of that glitter on. Um, got some blue glitter here. Just put some in it. And where's the top? On, oh, the top's up there. <laughs> Some of these, they're all going the same direction. Others of them, they're like bottom side up from the other one. Like there's the the stem for the ear wire. And uh, you have to check. I'm not sure why they don't have it more standard. but They don't. And it's not like... It's saving space by turning them over because uh, the shape takes the same amount of space. I guess once it started, they couldn't just flip it back over when a crafter got a hold of them and said, you know what, this is not the way this should be done. All right. Let me put that there. Um, let's put some clear. That clear here. That don't mean we can't put any color in that. That just means we're putting some clear now. Make sure that's just for my clear. Take it all the way over. Make sure it's around the post here. I see air bubbles. It's not good. Around your post. Come on, all the way around. I see your air, bu air bubble right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there in the corner. Yep, I pulled it out. It's right there now. <laughs> oh, okay. Let those set for a second. Um, these here are full. I'm not going to worry about those. Let me da, 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 da. grab a piece of of this stuff. Let's just add a little bit of this. This is this is glow in the dark. It's like a phosphorescent. I don't know. So let's add some clear and we don't want to get too much paint because it'll break it down. I don't know. With this being two part resin, I think we could probably put more in than when we're, when we're doing the, uh, the UV resin because we ain't got to worry about the, uh, how opaque or translucent is and this will thicken because it's a paint it will thicken resin so I, I want to use it as soon as possible all right let's put that there let's see all right let me get some more up here okay I need a toothpick some scraping. Scrape it. And then scrape this one. Do I know what this will do? No. Then I want to just swirl it a little bit. Swirl it a little bit. I mean, it might be a cool effect. It might be like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Oh, there's a puddle right here. I'm going to make sure we get that puddle in there. Put it down here. Put it down here. It's starting to get thick. That had the, 
the glow in the dark paint in it. All right. So now what do we want to do? Let's, I think we're just going to set this one aside. Um, all right, this one here and this one here, I finally got a, a match to it, so we can do some stuff with that. But let's finish this off first. Um, what do we want to do with this? No, we don't want to put you in it. But we do have plenty of, of that. Do you want to put some blue in there? I don't think the blue goes. Maybe if we put the blue right over here. Oh, now that I touched it. Sure, why not? Let's do just a little bit. Just to pull some glitter off. Do you see how much glitter is in there? So, that's one reason I prefer doing it on, like, a paper versus a uh, a cup like this because you can get all the residue off the the paper a whole lot better than you can off the uh... oh look at the blue color so obviously some of the the color on the glitter ran but anyways you can get it um, off the paper a lot easier than you can off out of this cup. But you can scrape the sides like that, which you can't do on the, the paper. So I guess they each have their pluses. I guess if we look at this, like that's a flower and this is the sky. And down there's some ground. These colors don't exactly clash anymore. If you, As long as you have a story to go with it, you know? You want to make sure you have a story. They say that a uh, good artist have a story for their for their artwork. Great artist, the people looking at your artwork can can tell their story in it. So I would never, never ever say I was a great artist. I don't think I would even say I was a good artist. I'm just just have fun all right um I think I just need some color and I did grab my uh, my colors things what color do we want in here some green would that be too weird If I take too long, my paint's going to set up, my paint, my uh, resin will set up. So we are just going to go with it. And then I can use this with that sparkly green and uh, I need a little more color than that. Let me use toothpick. There we go. Um, and another one, another mold. such a pretty color. I hope I can find some more of this. All right, let's just, let's just add right there. Do it here too. Those flowers are not in the same place. Hmm, interesting. Did not recognize that until just now. All right, and right there. I don't want to, I don't think I want to cover that pink flower. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I don't think these earrings are going to go with anything. <laughs> oh. See, that's the great part about when you're just using a resin. You don't have to, you know, think, oh, what will that go with? Or, 
you know this is this is too much of a good thing here you can just go those are pretty colors I'm gonna put them together Okay, I'm going to put more green down here because I got more green up here. And I just want to balance the amount of color. All right, let's, let's just put some clear in. Clear over here. All right, get that back in. Um my toothpick a little bit bring that over 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 bring that back over 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 bring this up bring this to this I think we should get some gold leaf or something in that there's an air bubble get the air bubbles out hmm um, what color? Hmm, we were gonna some of that. Yeah. Although I do have a lot of that. Nah. Put some flakes in it? Why not? We'll put some flakes in there. Just to add some little texture, a little bit of bling. Oh, it, it also reflects some pink in there, so that's cool. Green, go back. I know you're going to just keep moving, so it doesn't matter what I do, you're going to keep migrating. So that pink might get covered up. It might. Oh well. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, this gives it some interest without coloring it. Because if I put any color in it, it's going to go over that pink. Like that green is doing. Hmm. All right. That's a lot of color. Um, let's see if I can push that green back. Push the green back. Push the green back. All right. Let's put a little clearer right there. Maybe that will push the green back. Oh, this is thickening up. Uh, we knew it was going to, though. I mean, we, now I got too much in there. Level out. You're self-leveling. Just do your thing, okay? All right. Meanwhile, let's push you over here. And these were scraps that I scraped off from another project. And uh, so I'm just going to scrape this into there. Let me use the, pen, the pencil, yeah. The pencil without a lead. It's the steak. You use the steak. Okay. okay. Put that in there. Let's uh, take the green glitter. Add that to it too. Green glitter. Green glitter, green glitter. Now this is the back side, I believe. Uh, we'll know more once we pop it out. Because we get to decide what's front, what's back. But this green glitter is kind of taking over this side. That's why I'm saying this is probably the back side. 
and I'm trying to get all this glitter out of here. All right, that's good enough. What I do? Uh, the blue over there, get the green there. All right, let's pour some clear into that. And spread it around. I was going to try to do some of these other things, but I don't know that I'm going to get to. All right, let's get that behind there. When it gets thick like this, you have to really worry about air bubbles. Ooh, there's one right there. Because they don't float up as easy. All right. Um, let's see. What, what shape do we want to do? Let's get rid of this. And let's bring this one in. And I think we're just going to do these um, uh, puzzle ones and I'm going to put this red glitter in and I think I got too much red glitter for this but did you see the the, the uh, glitter has bled also so that there's there's pink so that's kind of pretty. I like that. All right. Anyways, I did a, a video this morning and I um I fixed a bracelet, but you know, I've I've done those before, so I will do like show you clips of it. Um and not show you the whole video because it's kind of boring. I figure if I get bored with it, you definitely will be bored. Um, okay, it's not going up into that top part where the peg is. That's trying to, like I said, it gets thicker, and when it gets thicker, it doesn't, doesn't run as much. Come on, come on. Okay, you're all the way around on that one. Not all the you know. so all right come on you're not getting all the way around on that one I don't need you to form an air bubble either okay it looks like I'm going to be starting another thing like that there because I got some um what one are we gonna start on <laughs> let's just do that there let's, and uh, here you know if I if I make them both the same who knows maybe I'll get a, a pair of earrings out of this because that's a really pretty color let me add some of this clear. Oh, it's so thick. Come on, go down on in. And I want to do some of this up here. And some of it on this one too. Make sure it's got plenty to go into. Yeah, all this, the whole bottom here, I want to make sure it's got this glitter and stuff in it, the bottom part here. And then I can put the clear resin on the top without any problem. As long as they're both kind of glitter heavy on the bottom. All right, let me scrape that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, 
this is kind of like when you have ice cream and you're trying to get the very last dredges of the ice cream. Yeah. It's kind of like this. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can fill that with clear now. Clear in there. Get it up around that post. Without any air bubbles, which um, I would find it miraculous if it didn't have air bubbles, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to take a toothpick and run around that. And I'm going, yeah, yeah there's a big air bubble right there. Okay, now let me get the rest of this in here. <laughs> All right, now this is going to dry inside that cup, and I think I'm going to leave this stick in it, and then when I pull the stick out, most of the the resin will come out with it. All right, go ahead and put that one in there. This one I'm going to clean off because the ones with glitter will not clean off, but the ones that just had resin on them, just leave it set there. It will harden. It will be good to go. All right, toothpick, air bubbles. Yep, there was one right there. Did I get it? see a lot of bubbles in that. see a lot of bubbles in this one too. Get away from the sides there. All right, let's make sure you're good there. Some air bubbles there. Oh, there is an air bubble. Let's see. And do you have an air bubble? Nope, you are good. All right, I see some bubbles there. All right, what do we deal with the bubbles? Yeah. And we just run over it with the flame. Oh, there's a bubble, it popped. There's bubbles, there's bubbles. Hello, sweetheart, what you need? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna go? Oh. Uh, my husband's telling me that. The car too. Oh. All right, um, I need to go over to the other one and hit the heat gun with that. Make sure that the stem has, that we're going to use for the, the, um, to hang it with has not migrated. But we're just going to let this cure. Nothing we can do except clean up. So I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh. I will get this posted. Good morning, folks. This is Bethany at New Life Jewelry Creations. Um, I just wanted to do a, a, look, a quick video. I know I've done uh, stringing bracelets before, and this right here is, this feels so nice. It's real stone. It's nice and cold to the touch and smooth, and there's a good weight to it. But as you can see, there's a broken, a broken, uh, piece right there so we have to restring the whole thing and you can see where they had it strung before uh, their, their strings off their knots are fairly long they do have a double string uh, you can tell because there's two two uh, ends on each of those um, it makes sense what with the this being so heavy um, that two is probably better than one. The other thing I wanted to show you is, oh, that one's got a little, but that's natural, I think. If you can see right here, um, it looks like they hollowed it out a little bit right here by the knots, maybe to kind of hide the knot, because usually you'll pull the knot inside a bead, but since these are like drilled holes 
they're all pretty uniform. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a knot inside that. But, and that's probably the same thing they ran into was unable to hide the knots. So they just kind of chipped away. Um, we'll see how, how it comes out for us. Can you see the, how it's dug in? All right, let's zoom back out because I don't want to lose you. And we are going to be using stretch. And this one is one millimeter. And I'm going to need two of these because they, they've got to go around each of those. And I'm going to get a pretty good length for each of them. Probably about like that. I'll cut that there, move that away, take the midway point, cut that one. Now you got to condition it. And the way you condition it is you just stretch it as hard as you can. And what it does is it, uh, it takes, well, it stretches it. <laughs> it gets real relaxed while it's on the spool. And also when it's in the bracelet, it'll get relaxed. But if you don't stretch it, then you put it together relaxed. And when you wear the bracelet, the movement and everything stretches it. And then you'll get those little lag pieces in between. Um, all right, let's start with this one because this is the one that has the uh, the hole there. Um, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go get a clip. Okay, these are the clips. And the reason I'm getting these is so that it just don't run off the end. Let's see if I can... Make sure I clip that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and there's no up, no down there. So you just grab one, put it on. All right, I had to step away for a bit because my husband called and we gas a car up in the truck up at the same time because we shop at Kroger, which is a grocery store, but they also have a gas station. And you get fuel points um, based on how much um, stuff you purchase. And uh, anyways, we had enough to get a dollar off a gallon. So we're, we gassed up his truck and my car at the same time. We, I pulled in one side of the pump, he pulled in the other, he gassed my car up, then went over and gassed his truck up. So, we usually save about, I don't know, $25 to $30 by doing that. And, uh, you know, in today's economy, that's quite a bit. Well, look at this one here's that way too. So maybe they... Maybe it wasn't done on purpose, but I think I'm going to put this on the other side of that. So it'll be between those two. Why not, right? It might, uh, the knot may be able to settle between those um, little divots there. That'd be cool. I mean, if I can't get it inside one of these, which... I don't know, maybe I can, but I doubt it. I probably should have stretched this again because it's been sitting there. Before I tie it, I'll stretch it some more.
Stretch it here. Stretch it here. Oh, ladder. Ta-da! Come on. Tighten up. I can feel it tightening up. All right, don't cross over. Where's the other one? Get out of the way. All right. I can still feel it coming tighter. All right, now we are doing the fisherman's knot or the surgeon knot or whatever you want to call it, which means the first knot is just one over under. And this one we're wrapping as many times as you, as you can see. Can you see that? There's like one, two, three, four wraps on that. If I was fishing and I had my favorite lure on there, it'd have seven wraps, but I want to make sure it can fit in that hole. It looks like it's going to fit in that hole. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's going in. Okay. Um, I'm going to put another. Let me tie this one first because this one's getting in my way. All right, let's, come on. All right, go over, under, and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Stay out of the way. All right, now we're going to do the one, two, Three, four. Yeah. My husband's run to the bank because we got our um, our income tax return from, I don't know, we pay one and the other one we get a return for. So I think it's the federal government that we're getting a return for. But, uh, so, that will be done. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm only going to do three. Tighten it, and then tighten that. See how tight it is? See it cutting into my, I mean, I'm pulling. And that tells you how good this, this uh, string is, too, that it's not going to break, even with all that. All right, get that out of the way. And... Tighten that down. All right, and let me clip it really close. Because if it's tied well and tightened down well, you can cut it close and it'll be fine. I don't think it's going to go in. Hmm. See, this one went in. But this one's not. Not! <laughs> it's a knot. All right. I'm just doing a single tie on that one. Okay, let's see. Cut it real close. I'm not going to put any glue or anything on it. Some people will put a little bit of glue on their knots. Alright, this, this hole here is obviously bigger than this hole. But... It's been repaired. No more broken piece. See, isn't that pretty? All right, so there we go. Oh, don't twist. There we go. Nice stone bracelet. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Hmm. I hate throwing things away. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll just Put it in a wind chime or something, you know. Add it as one of the beads. It worked fine for that. I mean, it's it's out in the elements. So, anyways, this was not an exciting vid video, but I did get this finished. <laughs> so that was, you know, exciting for me because this has been sitting there going, "Fix me." Let me see if I can pull that knot in there. No, it's not going to go in. Let me try this side. Nope. So, that's not going to... Sometimes you can't hide the beads. I mean, I could have put little beads in between these, I guess, but no. That would have looked tacky. I mean, it would have taken away from the fact that this is all natural stone. 
So, all right. Well, that was that was the video for today. I am going to be making very soon a wind chime out of these. Um, I gotta separate them by color because these are these have got pretty uh, browns and yellows and some gold. And this one here is purple and blue and some like brass color in it. But don't you think they'd sound pretty? I've got a bunch of these my sister sent me. And uh, so what I'm, I'm going to do is make a, take a mold and make a top plate. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the thing that these all hang from. But I'm going to try to match some of these colors here before I even start putting these together. And I got lots of uh, used chain. So I'll use some jump rings and attach these to chain. And when they move around, they'll, they'll sound really pretty. So that's my next step is to actually make the top plate for these and figure out how many I have of these. Cause I don't think these go together. I mean, when they're, Depends on how many I have. I may have to mix. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, this is Bethany. And I hope that uh, you weren't too bored with this video. This one's, like I said, this one's not as excited as other ones. Let's see. I don't know.